the top three, but still everybody knows about us and we were we were definitely recognized and it really meant a lot to me because that part of the competition was not for me. It was something that I spoke to that's close to my heart and it's part of it's a piece of Zimbabwe. So it really means a lot that I that I came home with that. Okay, so uh, what's next for Brick Jackson? Gosh, I think I need to find my feet a little bit, but definitely <laughs> it's been a whirlwind of emotions. I am going to fulfill my duties for this next year and hopefully beyond. I am going to keep working with the informal sector and keep doing my best to make social change. I want to be an ambassador of social change. That is truly my goal and where my heart is. So that is where I'm going to put every piece of me towards. Okay, you spoke about uh, Brand Zimbabwe. We'd just like to know how much uh, did you uh, like sort of market Zimbabwe abroad? You said now people know about Zimbabwe. Yes. Tell us about that. So in every interview and in everything that anybody asked us, they asked me questions about our country, about the people, about our historical monuments, literally everything. And that's where I spoke about our beautiful nation. And also what put us back on the map, like I said, is getting into the top 10 voice for change. That, like I said as well, that is one of the most challenging part of the competition. And I was amongst nine other countries. So put, it put us back on the map because people know about Zimbabwe now. Everybody's been, you know, talking about us, wondering where we are in the world because before nobody really knew where Zimbabwe was. And now they do. And, you know, just being there, wearing my sash across my chest, chest just showed that we were there. So it didn't actually have to mean what was coming out my mouth, but me just being there, being present. Um, but one of the one of the things that I did mention, they they had asked what is something that Zimbabweans are known for and something that I would bring across to the world. And I said, everybody in Zimbabwe is so friendly. Everyone goes around saying my shamoriangu, hi shamoriangu, how are you shamoriangu? And to me, that was a special part that I shared with the world because truly Zimbabweans are so friendly. The people of Zimbabwe are so unique.